Previously, we have discussed the Barton Mikombi decarboxylation reaction in detail, also including some mechanistic considerations. Now, let me show you a practical example how this reaction was employed in total synthesis. In this case, the group of Terashima synthesized several kinocarcine derivatives in order to establish structure activity relationships. Kinocarcine is known to possess anti tumor activity for several types of cancer in mammal cells. Here you can see the molecule that was subjected to the Barton McCombie decarboxylation reaction. The conditions were exactly the same as we, dis we have discussed previously and the reaction was carried out in benzene as solvent at reflux temperature. This yielded the decarboxylated molecule at the 10 position. In a yield of 65%. This is a good yield considering that the Barton McCombie decarboxylation reaction is a radical reaction. After this step, the molecule was treated with one molar sodium hydroxide in methanol at room temperature with a yield of 89% and with silver nitrate in methanol at room temperature in 81% yield. This affords a cyclization from the oxygen to this stereo, stereo center on the inversion, as you can see right here. Since we have inversion at this stereo center, this has been an SN2 type process. Under these conditions, first the hydroxyl group is deprotected and the silver nitrate activates the nitrile. Since cyanide is a pseudohalide. Then the oxygen cyclizes to that center under inversion of stereocenter, ejecting the cyanide. 